everybody. I'm Larry Ridley. They come up in an offset eye. On the ground, this is Isaiah Crowell. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. You remember Timmy Jernigan at Florida State. His stoutness that was so impressive there. It still comes into play in the NFL, doesn't it? If you call Stout 300 pounds, and I do, then yes. <laughs> Used it well on that play and made a nice tackle for a loss. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Hurry up, here we go. Blue, it. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. Now back to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, C.J. Mosley. And the possession is theirs at... to take the field and following the interception just any interception are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive or no you just throw that out the window i think you are i don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go ah totally didn't affect me let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again you're going to take care of it but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense right. at all still want to attack we'll see how they attack them here they come out five wide, three of them to the right oh, side. Three, 19. Three, 19. Detroit! Detroit! Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Personal foul, face mask, defense. Charles, I know it's hard when live bullets are flying, but you cannot keep your hand up around the face mask area. It is absolutely inexcusable nowadays. We talk about target areas all the time. You have to aim lower so that your hand doesn't get involved in the face mask. there will set him back a bit on the offensive holding penalty. And you know who you want to pressure after a penalty like that? The guy who just committed the foul. You want to see if he's going to keep his head down or if he's going to get his head right back into the game. I'd send a blitz at him right away and see if he holds up. And the dreaded face mask penalty, that's going to cost him 15 yards. And it's such a dangerous play. Body going one way, and then your head gets yanked back the other. 15 yards is the right call. Back 
back to throw now on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it. Trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They come out here in the eye. He'll try again with the arm here on Splash coming, and he's taken down. Elvis Doberville not dropping into coverage. He comes on the blitz and takes him down for a loss of nine. He didn't get rid of the football there, took the sack. Although that's easier said than done. He can't just chuck the thing sideways into the seats. No, he really can't because you're not afforded total protection as a quarterback. You have to get outside of the tackle boxes as defined by the NFL, meaning wherever your tackles operate normally, get outside of that. And the ball that you throw has to get back to at least... Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Cleveland geared up to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Defense in a good spot. Let's see how the offense responds with a second and 13 now. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. This is complete to Hawkins. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Hey, the defense is in this game as well. They wanted to make it a tough third down. They were able to do so on that last play, preventing a big game. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. shotgun he'll look to throw and this is going to be incomplete partner how many times have you heard it pressure creates diamonds right <laughs> but it also bursts pipes and on that one that's what they got they Cleveland geared up to take the field. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal. Put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Outside, they're playing press coverage. Here we go now. Green 39. They'll look to throw here on first down. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. 
I know they don't like to hear it when they get to a certain age, but then you have to start to use your, your skills, your wiles, right, your mind to beat guys to the football. And getting your toes tapped in bounds definitely qualifies as that, doesn't yeah, it? The veteran showing he still has the agility. Back to throw. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. A rookie QB struggling gets thrown down to the ground there, but you know maybe this game, it's not over yet, but maybe this game can be a learning experience for him. So many different things that he has to pick up on. When, does, when to go ahead and flush from the... Yeah, that... start this drive in the air and that is incomplete personal foul face mask defense and I know it's hard in live action, but you've got to keep your hands away from the face. That's a 15-yard penalty. You work on it all the time, making sure your target area is lower and trying to keep your hands away from the face mask so you don't get the big penalty. They'll look to throw now on first down. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll be a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. to his right and he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here nowhere to go with it incomplete let's face it perfection is something we all chase whether it's playing this game or whatever we do hard to attain but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete on third down he'll drop to throw and a hook up over the middle to Pryor and he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. He'll drop to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just drop to a point and react into the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man for man. That allows him to make more plays on the football like the one we just saw there. Back to throw here. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll bring up fourth down. Partner, I think that complete... Jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. All right, here we go. 319! 319! Touchdown, defense. Back 99, Billy, here we go! 
They'll come out throwing here on first down. Going underneath for Crowell. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Accepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. And on that one.28-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Second down following the run. They'll run it again with Crowell. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it's going to make it third down at six. And the offense facing a third and six. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. It's caught. It's Barnage over the middle. So holding by the offense and maybe now got to shift up what you want to do on the playbook. Yeah, definitely. Change what you're doing in the playbook, but boy, the advantage shifts to the guys on defense, doesn't it? Longer yardage situations, they often become bolder. So that penalty, the offense shooting themselves in the foot a little bit. Now third and 16. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Caught, left side, it's Barnage. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six-foot... The storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes... 